and for the first time in UNLV history at the Mountain West, they are conference tournament champions and going to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2002. What a moment for the UNLV Lady Rebels. You have to trust us a little bit. I promise I won't let you down, but I can't do, I can have some grand master plan. We can have some grand master plan. But if there is no buy-in, it'll be a great plan sitting on the desk. It takes buy-in, which is what? Sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice? My name is Essence Booker. And my name is Alyssa Daraza Frescas. And I'm Desi Ray. So I'm a sophomore shooting guard here at UNLV. I'm a junior. So I'm a center here at UNLV. And I'm the point guard here at UNLV. My mom keeps me going uh, every single day. She's my uh, motivation to keep going, uh, to wake up every single day with a smile on my face. And everything I do is for her. I try to get a scholarship for her, try to work at my hardest for her. Um, she's my motivation, she's my rock, my everything, and without her, I wouldn't be here today. It's been only me and her since as long as I can remember. Um, she has to play the role of mom and dad. She's always worked hard, and no matter what, she's always, you know, she's given up a lot for me, and I know that. Fifth game of the season, Grambling State. Uh, before that, Lenny came up to me and, you know, kind of told me I was going to be starting that game. And I remember, you know, one of my one of my personal goals is I'm gonna start every year like being a college athlete. And I remember when she told me that, I called my mom, went into the bathroom, and then I just started crying because, you know, the beginning of the season was kind of hard for me. And um, yeah, that was a really really special really special game. And that's when I knew it was gonna be special. That's when I knew God had something planned and to trust Him and. And it meant a lot to me and my mom. So I knew it was going to be special the fifth game of the season versus Grambling State. Little floater in the paint, no good. Rebound taken away by UNLV. Now Frescas catching fire. Three from the left wing goes down. Frescas hits her second three quarter of the ball game. It's or if it's an injury. And Booker will swing it. That's a deep three. Money. You got to know where she's at. Flips it to the top of the key here for the Lady Rebels. To Desi Ray Young to the right wing to Durazzo Frescas going from right to left. Frescas is able to draw the foul and gets the end. Otasu flicks the three, around and down. Defense gets hands up and is and is disrupting the shot. I mean, it was crazy. Just it was going like up and down, up and down. Hotsford will come down and score. We'll go back down and score. The big will come back down and score. We'll go back down and score. They're hitting threes. We're hitting threes. So we're just going back and forth throughout the entire game. Lenny drew up the play in the uh, huddle on that timeout. And normally the play, like we run it, and we run it for Alyssa to hit the shot. So I'm thinking, like, okay, cool. Like I'm gonna take the ball out. I'm gonna make a great pass. Alyssa's gonna knock this down. But Lindy told me the shot was for me. So I'm like, okay, like, all right. We don't normally run it for me, but okay. And then you could kind of tell, like, I might have been like second guessing myself, or like I was just shocked that it was for me. But Kayla, she tapped me on my shoulder. She's like, you're gonna hit this. Like it's going in. And then as soon as she said that, I just looked at her and I was like, yeah, you're right. Like. I'm going to be open, and I'm going to hit so it. So they get the ball moved up the floor. With two to shoot, Booker! Bang! I think that was a, the most emotion I expressed throughout the entire season. And when she hit that three, I was like, oh yeah, it's game over. That's when all my emotions went up. I'm like, okay, we got to do it for defense for a few more little seconds, and that's it. And then the game ended, and I was just so happy and so proud of us and how far we came. 
and how hard we work. UNLV, the regular season Mountain West champions, and they complete the journey as the tournament champions. And for the first time in 20 years, UNLV Lady Rebels are heading to the NCAA tournament. Well, moving into this year, we're totally in a different position than, frankly, maybe this program has ever been. And for sure, our team has ever been, and a lot of the players have ever been. So it's it's having to take a different approach um, to try to get to the same end result. I think once we start worrying about the next day and not the next month or the next year, then we'll be better. I think since we are trying to look so much further ahead, it's kind of making us take steps backwards. But when she gave us her speech, it really did motivate us to just worry about the next day and I'm just focusing and taking it one day at a time instead of weeks or months at a time. Um, we're still working with young women that are, you know, figuring their own lives out and, and have their own opinions. Um, and then we have a staff that, like, hasn't really done it either. So collectively, we have to wade through this thicker water. And so we have some great days, and then we have some really challenging days. Um, this year is definitely different than last year. Um, this is my last year, so whatever I put into it is what I'm going to get out of it. And I feel like my biggest goal is to leave my mark on the team and um, help encourage the young players um, the, the role that they can play on this team. And I feel like a lot of players have the potential to be great, and I just want them to know that. It's um, you know my job to keep everyone focused and, and pointing in the right direction. Um, and that gets more challenging, you know, with some of the different accolades and external expectation. UNLV has been chosen as the preseason favorite to claim the 2022-23 Mountain West regular season title. I think that everyone loves being number one. No one's ever going to hate that. I think that it does put a huge target on our back, but I think we've had a target on our back since my freshman year. I think UNLV has been really, really great since 2020, and due to Coach Lindy and the coaching staff, I just think they always are just giving us their all and just helping us and pushing us through. We know what we want to do, where we want to go, and I think they even know how to get there, um, but it seems harder. And, and the road will be much, much harder uh, because everyone is going to bring their A game. This team is just different. It's different. Uh, we have the majority of the same players, but it it's just so different too. Um, and, you know, to wrap it up in a word or a phrase or two, um, I don't know yet. <laughs>